Hello everyone, uh, this is Ravina. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna solve a two sum problem. Uh, I'll be sol solving this two sum problem in two ways. Um, one the normal approach and the other one will be the optimized one. Now yeah, so let's uh, jump into the problem. The problem says that uh, given an array of integer nums, uh, add an integer target return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. So let's have, uh, let me tell you what it actually means. So basically from the nums array, we have to find two such numbers whose addition sums up, uh, whose addition is equal to the target. So let's take the first example. Here uh, you have two 7, 11 and 15 inside the nums array and you have target 9. Now if you see there are two numbers which is 2 and 7, 2 plus 7 is 9. So what we have to do is we have to return their indices. So our output would be 0, 1. 0 is the, indice, uh, is the index of the first element which is 2 and 1 is the index of 7. If we go in and t take the second problem, here it says 3, 2, 4 and the target is 6. Now we can see that you know 4 plus 2 is 6 and 2 has an index 1, 4 has an index 2. So that's what we return. One thing that you have to take into account is that it says that it has exactly one solution so we don't have to worry about you know maintaining different indices. And the second thing you have to make sure is you cannot use the same element twice. So if you have a look at example 2, we cannot do 3 plus 3 because we cannot use the same element twice. So that's why the answer is 4, comma, uh, answer is 2 and f indexes of 2 and 4 which is 1, comma, 2. Now if you see here, we have 3, comma, 3 and the index uh, and the target is 6. So our output would be 0, comma, 1. So basically we cannot use the same element twice. So that's why here we have different indices even if the numbers are same. So let's let's dive into the problem and see how we can solve it. Uh, let's let's say yeah here. So let's take into account the nums array and the target 9. So one way of solving this problem would be you know comparing each element um, adding each element with other element and then comparing it with the target variable so what we can do is we have 2 7 9 and 11 so first i'll say 2 is 2 plus 7 equal to 9 in this case yes so we'll just return it but the idea behind what i'm saying is that we'll have 2 plus 7 check the target 9 then 2 plus 9 then 2 plus 11 in the other iteration I'll do 7 plus 9, I'll do 9 plus 11. And then again for 9, I'll do 9 plus 11. So in this way, I'm gonna, you know, check for all the possible combinations. So we can do that using two for loops. So the first for loop i can start from here. And the second for loop j has to start from i plus 1. So we will basically sum the two numbers which is nums of i plus nums of j and then check if they are equal to equal to the target variable if it's so then we can just you know return uh, i and j so this problem can be solved using two for loops the time complexity of this problem uh, this code would be o of n square because you are uh, you know compare you are at you are iterating through the array twice you can see it here two for loops and then checking for the target sum so it's basically the time complexity here is o of n square uh, let us see how we can solve it efficiently now we can do the we can do that using a dictionary so the idea behind a dictionary is that um, basically let's 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 uh, first write it down again so that you know we have a better idea yeah so the target says 9 so we will build a dictionary in such a way that each value is considered as a key 
and it's uh, the dictionaries dictionary is basically a key where value key pair uh, key value pair right so basically what we are going to do is we are going to get every value from the nums array make it as a key and store its index as the value so basically what you are going to do is we are basically uh, we are going to create a dictionary we insert values like 2 will be our key and its index will be our value now the next next element 7 its index is 1 9 index is 2 11 index is 3 so this is how i'll create the dictionary now i'll iterate through my nums array and check for a number which is so basically i'm going to iterate through my nums array and i'll check if my target minus my nums array is it in the dictionary so what happens is so basically the time complexity of looking up in a dictionary is o of 1 so what i'm gonna do basic so if you do 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 it's nothing but 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 so this is what we are gonna do so what we are gonna do is we are going to check the dictionary we are going to look for a number which is target minus the current number and we are going to look for that in our dictionary so this is basically a normal scenario that you can come across here which will satisfy this problem but we also have to make sure that you know we don't use the same element twice so for that we can we can add another uh, condition which says that and the current index is not equal to the index of the number in the dictionary so now what's the index of the number in the dictionary it's basically dictionary of target minus num so i think that's about it we the only condition that we have to take care uh, the only condition that's going to help us run this code is this one so let's go ahead and you know try write some code for it let me minimize this So let's first create a dictionary. So let me call this dictionary of nums. And then we are going to add numbers to my dictionary. So what we are going to so we are going to iterate through the dictionary. I'm gonna use enumerate so it will give me you know index and the number. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to my dictionary. So it says that we are going to make the number as the key and then if you do equal to index that will create a new entry with number as key and index as its value so now we have the dictionary in place we now we will go through the uh, we can i'll go through the nums array again now this time i'm gonna, I'm gonna check i'm gonna do this check that we talked about this check so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say if t in this in our case it's t minus num is it there in the dictionary nums and my current index is not equal to uh, the index of the element in the dictionary so basically i'm going to check if that my target minus num if this condition is true i can just simply return because i have found the index uh, i have found the indices so i can i'll return the current index and i'll return the index of the number in the dictionary which is nothing but dict of nums target minus num so this is basically it uh, this is how uh, this is all the code that we need for the two sum problem let's try in and submit the score so the submission was successful uh, it was done it's done right now it has 77.86 percent faster 
uh, now let's look at the time complexity of this so basically here we have one for loop which iterates through the nums array of length n here i'm iterating again through the nums array and then i'm checking for a number in the dictionary so as i told you earlier the lookup time complexity of a dictionary is o of 1 so this statement is basically o of 1 and this is o of n so the time complexity for this sum would be the time complexity would be o of n because here it's n and here it's n so n plus n to n and we ignore the constant so basically the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity here uh, would be o of n again taking into consideration that we are using a dictionary here so we are going to use the number of uh, we are going to use all the numbers the worst case scenario is we'll each number will have a different index and uh, that's it i guess you can find the code uh, in the description i have given a link to my github account also if you want any help with any other problem or you want you are studying for an interview and you want some explanation of the problem please let me know in the comments if you want to learn about a particular problem i can make a video of that thank you so much for watching happy coding